Fala galera, tudo bem com vocês? O Saci após o jogo contra a Liquid participou da coletiva de imprensa e o portal Valorant Zone trouxe algumas falas do Saci. E lá ele falou sobre a possibilidade e a capacidade de ser campeão e sobre isso o jogador falou o seguinte Acreditar a gente sempre vai acreditar. Antes de ganhar da Liquid eu estou acreditando que posso ser campeão. Vou acreditar que vou ser campeão independente do que aconteça. Sempre vou ter a mentalidade de ser campeão e eu acho que nosso time realmente tem capacidade para isso. O jogador também falou sobre o Aspas e o Les não estarem no mesmo ambiente do restante do time pelo fato de testarem positivo. Foi um pouco ruim porque preferiam os ele ao nosso lado do que isolados no quarto. Foi uma situação horrível porque logo quando acabou o primeiro mapa a gente não estava com eles para conversar. Tanto que foi um dos motivos para estarmos desligados na Heaven. E na hora que tomamos o espanco na Heaven a gente nem saiu do PC. Felizmente os meninos foram bem porque poderia dar ruim. Eles estarem isolados poderia ter acontecido um desastre mas mantiveram a cabeça e conseguiram performar bem. E também após o jogo o Sadak deu entrevista em inglês para a transmissão do Valorant. Mas antes da gente ver o que ele falou confere se você está inscrito aqui no canal. Mais de 50% das pessoas que assistem nossos vídeos não são inscritas. Então já confere e já deixa aquele like nesse vídeo. Thank you very much, Yinsu. Yes, I'm joined by Sadhak. Sadhak, congratulations on the win. Thank you very much for joining hey guys. me. Thank you very much for joining me. In Thank the you. EDS. And uh, I actually want to start very big picture here and talk about your history as an individual against Liquid. Because back in 2021, you played at Reykjavik and it was Liquid who knocked you and Sassi out when you were playing on Team Vikings. Were you thinking about that element of revenge in this matchup here today? Honestly, no, I just wanted to win. Man, yeah. it doesn't matter for us who we have in front of us, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, no thoughts of revenge whatsoever. Now, I do want to touch on the fact that Liquid are a tough team to prep for right now. They've made so many changes. So what, what was your focus as well as the leader of the team coming into this matchup? How were you prepping and how were you planning for Liquid? So Liquid is a team we practice a lot against this past week. So they knew how we play and we knew how they play. Interesting. So uh, it was really kind of like, I don't know, it was really complicated to be honest. Sure, because sure. we knew that the Icebox was going to be their pick and we prepared for that. But we kind of got a surprise on the Haven, as you guys of course, saw. Yeah. <laughs> we got destroyed. But then we we were really confident on our Aston. So yeah, it was more like a mental game than any, anything else. Sure, talk to me about Haven then. Let's touch on that for a little bit because it was your map pick and you ended up like, I mean, Liquid were just so confident. They, they were rolling over you guys. How did you battle back into that third map? I think it, it was kind of like, we were kind of inexperienced because we started really, really well and we couldn't transition that into the second map. So, they just took advantage of, or advantage of that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they were really, really good. They're, they're awesome players. Yeah, mechanically, I mean, they're, they're scary to go up against. Yeah. They're scary to go up against. Really scary. Uh, let's touch on the fact that you guys right now, Loud and, uh, and your team, is the furthest the Brazilian team has gotten in global competition with your win here today. It's a huge achievement for you guys. Um, and I actually want to talk as well about your sports psychologist, Arthur. And he's he spoke about how he's helping you guys deal with the hype, the pressure coming into this as well. Is it still the case where you guys are able to brush off the pressure despite the fact that you guys are the sole representatives of Brazil moving forwards into this tournament? I think pressure takes a really huge spot in us but it's a healthy pressure. That's why Arthur is helping us in every step of the way. Sure. Uh, you know, the, the Brazilian fans can be a little bit too oh, much yeah, sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and we try to keep that in line, right? Sure. Uh, but it's always, we, we keep working this stuff, these mental issues, this this, pre this unhealthy pressure outside the game, and uh, he helps us a lot, um, yeah. That's it. Nice. Okay. So business as usual. Okay. Let's talk finally about your matchup here. So you've made the upper semis and you're going to be going up against G2. Now, Aspas has said in the past that uh, out of all the teams, this is before the tournament as well, he wanted to play against G2 the most. And now he's got his wish. So do you share his enthusiasm? Are you, are you excited to be going up against G2? I mean, uh, G2 is, <laughs> dude, they are really good. So this is the perfect team to learn to learn from mm -hmm. and I think our our team is just gonna be growing this match you know sure. just learning constantly and this is gonna be a awesome match for sure nice lovely to hear it as well I mean best of luck Sadak with the future of the tournament as well congratulations again on your win and thank you for your time and, and yeah best of luck moving forwards thank you of course and uh yeah
Mas e aí, qual a sua opinião sobre tudo isso? Já deixa aí nos comentários, deixa também aquele like, se inscreve no canal pra não perder nada, aquele abraço e até o próximo vídeo.